is your exaggeration after her? Listen here, Mr. Bear. Little Miss needs your help. Her brother is missing. Yeah. Now you clean yourself up, get your head straight, and help her out, or else. Well. Yeah, that's right, Mr. Bear. Mr. Sure, okay. Bear. Anyways, we should get going. I don't have all night. You know, I I wasn't a kid who like had a. I've read all of these. What is it? Uh, Some of my favorites are the Adventures of Who Done It. Done it like almost gets whack. There is no I in crime except for that one. And love in other words, a dictionary review. Uh, but uh. I was gonna say I never had. I was never okay. I had Let's one stuffed animal that I was really like close with. I actually still have him. I think he's in my closet. Actually, um, his name was Panther. Um, I've never explained this on stream or anything. So, yeah, I used to be close with a uh, with a stuffed animal. I was gonna say I'd never been close with a stuffed animal like that. To the point where like you're talking to it. Like even with my like the Panther or whatever, I never. It's not like I talked to him or, you know, I wasn't, like, my imaginary friend or something. I I, I was never a very, like, uh, I, I don't want to say not imaginative because I kind of, I was imaginative. I still kind of am, but not like that. Not to that extent, you know what I mean? I don't know. Let me know. Did you guys ever have a fucking, like, imaginary friend or stuffed, like, plush that you kept close with you? Let me know in the comments below. Just clothes, so. I know. Oh, well, clothes are good. Let's go check the bathroom. So dramatic, Jesus. It's so dark in here, Chad. I can't see anything. The light is busted. We'll have to find a flashlight or something. Oh, never mind. Oh. There's some chain thingies inside. Chain thingies. You mean, I don't know what they're called, but I, I they're like the little pendulum things that are inside. Well, I'm pretty sure our mother would not want us to take those. How old are you, Amber? Cookie, that's yeah, super cute. No, it was a joke. No one would put a live dog in a sealed box with no air hole. Dumb dumb. Just so mean. <laughs> oh my god, you're so brutal, man. Jesus, Ted. You're so grumpy. The accentuated, almost reckless brush strokes could be an indication of the artist's lack of formal Literally, how old is Amber? With methodical, almost sterile precision, he instead attempts to convey his inner turmoil through his paintings, making his work better appreciated through sheer emotion. What the hell are you talking about? You're just such a caveman. I'm so confused. Like, I'm assuming that Amber is about maybe, again, 12. And her vocabulary is even more... Oh, shit. Oopsie, I didn't mean to go through there. No, go back. Oh, shit, Nuggets. Who are you? Let's go back. I don't know who you are, but I'll be back. <laughs> um, But, yeah, her her vocabulary is, like, it's hella... Just, it's just... Like, yeah. intense. It's yeah, even more intense than mine. Weird. Like, I kind of sound like a derp half the time, but fuck. Flint's room. Let's check out our brother's room, I guess. This is mighty suspicious, doll. Wasn't there a hole in the study wall? You know, that one that you used to crawl through when you were younger. You're right, Sneak. Maybe I can still fit through. It's worth checking out. Okay, so in the study. So I'm assuming we're done here. In the painting. The use of the colored green is what makes this painting stand out. It's just so vivid and beautiful. You can almost taste it. Well, that cut out. I did not do that. I didn't even click. I just moved my mouse and it freaked out. Well, shit. Again, this is a free game, so I guess there's probably little issues or whatever. Who are you, Rusty? Oh, how you Rust. doing? Hey there, Rust. It's been a while. Sure has, Snoop. Still walking the beat? Not lately. I finally took some time out to sort things out. He's pretending he's retired. It takes a lot out of him, apparently. Well, well, you couldn't have picked a worse time to retire, Snoop. Things are getting close to boiling point down in the city. What's going on, Rust? Wish I could tell you, Bear. I'm as clueless as the rest of them. One thing I know is that I was working at the steel mill one day, 
The damn place got blown up. Oh shit. Now I think about the red man. We've heard the city is in lockdown. Have you seen Flint Rusty? Have you seen Flint Rusty? Uh, you know anything about the Yellow King? Who the fuck is the Yellow King? Did they once mention the Yellow King? I don't remember them men mentioning that fucking name. Who the fuck is the Yellow King? We okay, the pacing is just kind of weird, man. but you know about that? I, sure I mean, it's a little He's distracting, a but it's okay. This is happening, Bear. So this red shows up down in PC. This was a week ago. He goes up Paper to the city. first, gathers information and such. No one thought nothing of it. A couple of beaten up low lots here and there. It's a common trade at this place, you know? Then mm -hmm. the fire started. I hear a couple of guys down from the coal district gathered a posse. Got a corner of this place. No one heard from it since. And those guys are miners, Bear. They're as tough as nails. Who is? Those guys, Ted. What kind of information is he after? Well, here's the funny part, Snoop. I heard he was asking a lot of questions about our beloved miss here. That's why I'm here. After Doris and the kids left the city, I just figured I'd come here and make sure Amber stays safe. Now, don't you be dragging her on one of your ill-advised adventures, Bear. Are you kidding me? Anyways, why would this guy go around for that. asking about her? Laughing you know stock. Wow. This doll? Anyone whose life you're messing with, besides mine, I mean, angry boyfriend, perhaps. Don't get smart. I never heard of this red guy until tonight. Besides, you're the only man in my life, Bear. Mm. Who's getting smart now? So, mm. what kind of information is this guy after? Only that? man in my life. Haven't I told you about this already? He's asking about our little miss here. Is he all right? He's fine. He's just sleepy and grumpy and like totally not drunk. Nah, I'm fine. I'm just sleepy and grumpy. How old is she? The night on some wild goose chase. What is this? You're getting along after all these years. What is this? What is this? I'm so confused. Who's the yellow king? Anything about the yellow king? Who is that? Oh, really? I guess they left the thing wide open, like open to interpretation. I personally didn't think much of it. I'm so confused. Have you seen Flint, Rusty? Millie told me he might be missing. I'm sorry, little miss. I'm afraid I haven't seen your brother. But I'm sure he's fine. Flint is a tough kid. Besides, no one has left or entered this room since I got here. Okay, and the city's on lockdown. The city is in lockdown. Sure is. It's been like that since the mill exploded. The official statement is that there was a gas leak down at the basement level. And we all uh, someone leaves or enters the city at this point. How'd you escape? I think someone's trying to cover this up. Uh, yeah, you think so somebody's you think trying to cover it up? Accident? You think someone is trying to cover something up? I wouldn't go that far, miss. I mean, it would make sense. That the officials don't want to make a big deal out of it. Keep the books at ease. What about the mill owner, that Dietz fellow? He made any enemies lately? Filed any big insurance claim or something? Mm. No, Bear. Mr. Deeds. I feel like the volume is still very loud, Besides, so I apologize for that. Down at the mill when it happened, he had got a little ear buzz as well. How'd you get out of the city? How'd you escape? I used the East Tunnel maintenance shaft, but the thing was getting close to collapsing. I think they closed it off completely after I got through. Okay, so no one leaves. So no one leaves or enters the city at this point. That's what the lockdown implies, Bear. Folks are still escaping, though. I hear some of them got here through the tunnels. Them mugshot boys were the first to flee, and poor old Millie. Who knew she got here safe? Millie's in my room. She's resting. Bless your kind heart, little miss. I'll stay here in the hallway. Keep an eye out. Can you do it, Rust? You seem kind of tired. I ain't no bunny, little miss. Some buster tries to pull a fast one on me, I'll give him a little chin music before I drop a dime on him to the elbow. Um, what? He exactly what? Do it. Okay, well, thank you. Okay, right, bye. We better get cracking. Catch you later, Rust. Yeah. Do your thing, Snoop. Thank you, friend. Thank you, Rusty. Bye. Bye, little miss. Thank Don't you for that me. info, friend. I'm sure he's all right. Okay, um, couch? For when you get tired of walking up and down this hallway. It's a treat. Like the ones outside. Only this one is inside. It's oh, really? Creepy. I don't like it. I mean, it has no leaves. It's all 
dried up, serving as a reminder of life's fleeting nature. Oh my god, that's so dark. Parents' room? It's locked. I mean, of course it is. Uh, did we wake up our parents? A painting, or is it? A painting, or is it some sort of ink blot test? I mean, it's probably just a painting. I see three anthropomorphic mailboxes dancing to the captivating beats of the J. Summers Jazz Quartet. Who even is that? How do you know these things? I'm so confused as to why she knows these things. It's driving me fucking bananas because I have no idea what the fuck's going on. Uh, lex book. in justa non es lex bunny made up words. Although they have a certain righteous ring to them. Ew, cigars are gross. Of all the places in the world, the flavor country seems least appealing to me. Uh. So many places to visit. If I had a lot of money, I would spin this and travel to where my finger lands. Hopefully not in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. I was gonna say, like, what if you hit the ocean? Let's spin that shit. Spin it! Let's take this bad boy for a spin. Oh, wee! Oh, ain't that pretty. Lamp? Just shining away. I have a similar one in my room. You have the same lamp in your room. It's just asset reuse. Those wow. lazy artists. <laughs> wow. It, it broke the fourth wall already. Hey, right. a flashlight. Oh, but there you go. There are no batteries inside. Of There's course. Bound to be some in the house. We can ask Rusty if he'll give us one of his. I'll take the flashlight with me. Of course. It wouldn't be that easy, would it? It looks pretty. The sand, I bet, came from somewhere far away. That dim-witted boy sells these down at the local market. So the sand probably came from... Nope, somewhere far away. Maybe some desert. Sure. Never know. Desert. You never know. I just love these old paintings. If I fail in my quest to become a world-renowned novelist and Pulitzer Prize winner, maybe I'll become a painter. Sure. Are they letting just anyone be a painter these days? Hey, I'm only 10 years old. The world is my... You're 10 years old? You're 10 years old and you have the vocabulary of a fucking college student. Like, are you fucking kidding me? My no. She must read a fuck ton. To judge a book by its cover, but these look so boring. I'm so pissed right now. How the fuck is she 10 years old? It's a decorative plaque of some sort or an award for wood chopping? I don't really know. Who knows? I've always loved this painting. It looks familiar in a way. I feel like I've been there before. Huh. Yeah, how come you're not in it? I mean, maybe I am in it. Anubis statue? It's Ooh. Anubis, protector of the deceased. Anubis. It's so common you would think people Anubis. have an almost unnatural fascination with death. Anubis. Anubis. Are you fucking kidding me? Is it am I pronouncing it wrong? Am I pronouncing How the fuck I I'm I'll fucking I'm gonna fucking Google this shit right now. How the fuck do you pronounce this shit? God damn it, phone. Let me fucking I'm pissed off now. Pronouns. Pronouns. A new Anubis. I'm pissed. Okay, I found a fucking random new YouTube video. Let's play this shit. So you all can hear. Anubis. That is how you pronounce Anubis. Are you fucking kidding me? Anubis. See? The fuck? God damn it. Oh god, I fucking. Oh god, shut up, okay. But yeah, how the fuck is it? Oh god, I'm pissed off. <laughs> I'm beyond angry. I know you're not supposed to. Yes, that, that we already it's heard that. Flowing from the sand. Aren't you perceptive, doll? You should have been a detective. And you should have been a ten-year-old girl, cause you throw like one. Ooh, ooh. I, I'm criticizing the game when it's not that big a deal, but like, no, it's like. I know there's bound to be issues in this, and I know that that's just the way it is, and, you know, not... I mean, it, it, nothing's perfect, so it's okay, but, like, uh, just little things, little things. There's a hole in the wall, let me see. Ted, get in there. Ted the bear, get in there. 
This hole leads to Flint's room. It's covered in cobwebs, though. That's so gross. Go in, Ted, and check it out. I'll wait for you here. I'm sorry, doll. As much as crawling through spider-infested holes sounds appealing to me, I have to pass. See, spiders tend to nest in my fur, and then I have to take a bath and go through this whole fumigation process. It's a mess. Okay, so that's a no. Um, I think at the... Do I need this glass? Highly breakable. Believe me, I know. Okay. Nothing interesting about it. Okay, so let's get the, the hell... Do I, do I poke the statue? I don't know if I did. I don't think I did. There's a number written underneath. 107. What does it mean? 107 is the police code for an unconscious or a dead person. That's a little grim. I don't make the rules. Ten I seven? sure as hell don't follow them either. Okay. Well, that's nice to know. So, 10-7. Everybody remember that. 10-7. Fucking comment that shit on the bottom. Just fucking 10-7. Oh, shit. That scared me. What the hell? What was that? I don't know, Ted. Lights? Tricks? Yeah. I that guess. actually did kind of scare me for a second. This. Thing. This thing. Yeah. Sounds right. Not really. Uh, Rusty? Can I talk to you for a second? Rust, we need a big favor. What's this about, baby? Rusty, we need a battery for our flashlight. We thought you could help us out. Sure, I got batteries. But here's the problem, miss. If I give you a battery, I gotta shut down for the rest of the night, and I have to keep an eye out. Take the edge off. Uh, can we just Can't have one? You give us just one battery, Rusty. You'll still have a couple of them left, right? Here's the thing, little miss. It's a close second. She knows. She's just playing on your soft side, Rust. You want to take the edge off? You could take some of that edge off, Rust. Why don't you rest your eyes for a bit and let me and the doll here take over? You? <laughs> no offense, Bear. I respect you as much as anyone in Paper City, but this here is different. What? I don't think you could handle this red guy on your own. You, you don't know what he's capable him. of. Leave the patrol to me. Damn it. Are you saying I'm not qualified for watch duty? We have to wrap this thing up fast. There's a bottle of carrot juice in my desk that's longing for my return. If we Ooh, can keep an juice. eye out for anyone suspicious. I actually do like carrot juice. You know I'm more than qualified. That nasty business from a couple of years ago with them robots going missing. I was the one that brought that whole shady affair down and you know it. Are you trying to play me, Bear? I know you had nothing to do with that. That thing went so high up, there's no chance in hell Snoop like you even got close to wrapping it up. You seem to have blown a fuse there, Rust. It was me who cracked that case, and I can prove it. I have the case file and the credentials handed to me by the commissioner in my office somewhere. Okay, okay, settle down there, Bear. Let's make a deal. You show me the credentials, and I'll hand over the battery. It's not that I don't believe you. I just want to make sure you're not playing me. Okay, got it. Ted and Amber move away. Oh my god, Ted, you're not supposed to read the brackets. A do over? Keep it rolling. We should get to my office, doll. There's an old file I have to find. What's this whole deal about, anyways? Why can't he just give us a battery? We can keep an eye out. Rust is having a hard <gasps> oh my time god. coping with what happened. He worked in that mill for over 20 years, and now suddenly he's got nothing to do. Let's just do this to humor him. Poor Rust. Okay, you're right. Let's find that file. I think by the time this is over, we're going to meet a lot of people in his position. I... I don't even know. <laughs> oh my god, guys. Um, I'm honestly going to end this a little early today because I'm actually getting sleepy and I can... I, I, I'm pretty sure you can see. I don't even know if you can see my face that well, but you can see it on my face and I'm actually kind of tired and I literally got out of work and decided to record some stuff and... Um, yeah. So, uh... Yeah, so I, I'm gonna end a little earlier today, guys. Um, but yeah, guys. So, if you want the link to the game and you want to try it yourself, I don't know if this has multiple endings. If you, you know, if you might be interested in this... Um, I'll leave the game. Um, again, it's free on Steam. Um, if not, guys, I will be seeing you soon. Um, so, if you guys could do me a favor, check out the description down below. There's a bunch of cool stuff listed down there. Um, 
I do stream on Twitch, and as of, as of, I don't know when, but at some point, next video I'll probably announce it. Um, I'll be streaming almost every day from now on Twitch. Um, link will be in the description as well. Um, and yeah, I usually stream Tuesday, Thursdays, and Sundays. So, yeah. Um, but if you guys enjoyed that in the video, guys, please do me a favor, hit that thumbs up, leave a comment down below, comment some of your thoughts on the game so far. Um, not much has happened so far. Um, tell me what you think, tell me how your day is going, and yeah. <laughs> yeah, guys. So, I will see you guys soon, and thank you again, guys. I hope you guys have a good one. Bye, guys.